done. <laughs> you know, any clown can do this type of tree pruning. But what's happening here is we've really created a whole circus of problems for this tree to face throughout the rest of its life. Right now, I'm having a bad hair day. But unlike these trees, it's easy for me to go ahead and help solve that problem. Go home, take a shower, get rid of all this kind of stuff, and I'm back to normal again. The first thing that these trees are gonna have to be fighting now for the rest of their lives is trying to recover from this terrible haircut that they've received. My hair will grow back. Their branches never will grow back. Should they grow back, there's gonna be many problems that this tree is facing. All the branches that come off and sprout off on the end or the tips of those lopped off branches, they're gonna be very weakly attached to this tree. And these trees right here are planted all along a parking lot. And what's gonna happen is, is there's gonna be a greater chance that those branches could now come crashing down on the cars that are gonna be parking underneath their shade. Another problem, if we think about uh, removing all these branches, is that the food for the tree is produced in the leaves. And now what you have done essentially is removed all the branches, you've removed all the leaves off that tree, and therefore the tree cannot produce any food during the growing season. Although we are seeing some leaves on this tree, we need to point out that there's not enough leaves on this tree to sustain this tree the same level that it was before all these branches were, were removed. It may or may not ever recover. Another problem that we have is if you look on the end of these branches, what you're having is that tree is just lopped off and that is never gonna seal over. And so that is gonna die and that will be a vector, a, a, a way for insects and diseases to get into that tree. And if you stick with us just a little bit, we're gonna take you to a place and show you the right way to prune a tree. Okay, now that we've seen and talked about some of the problems that we have with improper pruning of trees, we're gonna take the next few minutes and take you through step by step just exactly how you should be pruning a tree. Uh, we're gonna talk about why you prune trees, we're gonna talk about when you prune trees, and then we're gonna get into actually how you prune trees. And there's really many reasons to be pruning a tree. And, and sometimes if you think about it, sometimes the word hack uh, with some of the tree pruning uh, that we've seen uh, should be substituted for the, for the word prune, and, and that's, we need to get beyond that. And, and just because a tree is called a hackberry tree, that doesn't give you the right to go in and hack on that tree. But uh, what are some of the reasons for, for pruning? Well, when a tree is young like this, we prune the tree for, to, to help enhance the tree's natural shape. That's one reason we prune trees. You take the natural shape of the tree, you work with it, and then you begin doing things like improving the branching structure of that tree, uh, to make that tree a, a healthier tree, to make the tree a stronger tree. We, uh, we prune to maintain the health of the tree, actually. Uh, the three steps that we go through when we prune any size tree is the first thing you do is you remove all the dead branches in the tree. And, and the reason why that's important is you have to remove the, remove the dead branches of the tree because that's how insects and diseases can get into the tree. The second thing that we do is we go in and then we be, begin removing the crossing or rubbing branches. And the reason why it's important to remove those is just because as they blow and rub together in the wind, uh, then you'll be creating an open wound on that tree. And, and that'll be, again, another uh, avenue for insects and diseases to get into the tree. The third thing you do is, is once you've taken out all of those, then you just kind of step back. You look at the tree, and, and then comes the artistic part of what you're doing. Uh, you want the tree to be balanced. You want the tree to be pleasing to look at. And so it, it's really OK to step back from that tree, walk all the way around it, and take a look at what that tree looks like, and then begin go in and selectively pruning out some of those uh, branches to kind of balance the tree back out. During that process, what you'll also be doing is removing some of the inner branches in the tree. And by doing that, you're opening up that crown to allow more wind to blow through. And so in the high winds that we have in Oklahoma, the tree won't be torqued quite as much and wind can blow through it and uh, not cause any branches to break because of the wind. And then also with that open crown, insects won't be able to congregate in the crown of the tree. Those are some of the reasons why we prune trees. 
uh, when do we prune trees? It really depends on your objective, on why you're wanting to prune that tree when you prune the tree. Uh, generally, the best time to prune trees is probably late winter or early spring, going into the growing season for most species. So if you have a chance to uh, choose the month where you prune the trees, it would probably be in February, maybe March or so. As early as January, you could probably get by then. In pruning trees, uh, it's really, uh, all you need are some basic tools. Uh, doesn't take a lot of tools to actually get out and prune the size of trees that we're going to be talking about here. And I've got a few tools here that I just wanted to show you. This tool here, this is just a 24 inch lopper tool. Uh, the thing that's important to note here is you see this scissor cutting. There's two styles of these type of pruning cutters. There's a type that actually cut like this, and then there's a type that actually will compress it down. I prefer this style here that actually cuts through because you do get a clean cut all the way through the, the branch. That can take up to probably two or three inch branches. Then you just have a basic bow saw. And this is for cutting the slightly larger branches. Uh, pretty easy tool, very inexpensive to come across. For some of those tall branches that you can't quite reach, you might uh, go out and buy a pole saw. Uh, just a saw blade connected to the end of a branch like that, or end of a stick. And this one has an actual lopper attachment to that too, so I can get up to some of the tall branches up high. The last tool that we're not really going to talk too much about is a chainsaw. You know, this chainsaw actually can probably cause more damage to a tree if you're not careful on how you use it. Uh, only use a chainsaw on very large branches, so we're really not going to be using it too much today. We're going to mainly concentrate on some of the hand tools that we'll be using for the most part. Safety goggles, it's always important to think about your eyesight, so uh, get you a stylish pair of safety goggles. You know, that's something that, uh, uh, you know, you can actually be stylish even when you're out in the yard. So now we're going to go through and uh, do some pruning on this tree here. Now, this is a golden rain tree. It's a nicely shaped tree, but yet there's some uh, problems that I'm seeing on this tree that we are gonna help improve. You have the low cutting branches. You can't even hardly walk through here. You know, you're just bumping into branches and everything. And, and it's really okay to remove some of these lower branches for mowing. Uh, there are some crossing dead branches on the inside, so we'll be removing some of those. Uh, and then we'll just be cleaning out the general crown, just step by step, as, as we discussed earlier. Okay, we mentioned we're going to get in here and do some pruning on this tree. Whenever you do any pruning on any tree, what we need to consider is what's called target pruning. There's a specific location on that branch where you make your cut. There's a couple things I want to show you, and I'll actually draw on that branch where we, where we will be making that cut. The first thing that we're looking at here is what's called the branch bark bridge. And what the branch bark ridge is, essentially, is where the bark off of this branch and this branch come in contact with one another. The thing that we're concerned most about, actually, in pruning is what's called the branch collar. Now, the branch collar is this swelling here located uh, at the junction of this lateral branch and this main stem. If you can see here, you can kind of see the main branch here is all one diameter. Uh, this main branch here is all one diameter, but this swelling area here is the branch collar. Now, where we want to make our cut on this branch is just outside of this branch collar, which on this branch would be right along here. 